I think when people start thinking about Christian music versus secular music and even those categories, sometimes those can't be, sometimes those aren't really helpful categories to think of um, because only a person can be a Christian. A thing can't be a, a Christian. A thing doesn't have a soul uh, that can be saved by Christ. Only a person can. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that we need to, to think of. Um, I would like Christians to be able to engage in quote unquote secular art, be able to um, be discerning in that. That's not a overall rule that everyone should engage in secular art or to what extent. And certainly, you know, young people who are still under their parents' care need to obey their parents. That's pretty clear in the Bible. And if their parents feel like they're not ready for certain types of art, then that is definitely the priority because God has placed them in authority over them. Um, that said, as we grow and as we're adults who should be discerning, we should be prayerful in how we engage in the arts. And for me, a, a big breakthrough was understanding, and this may seem very basic to some people, but um, in my understanding, I, I began to see, okay, I shouldn't expect someone who's not a Christian to be creating art from a Christian worldview. So how can I take in um, secular art and enjoy it while still I guess guarding against being taking it wholesale you know taking it as just this is the truth but actually be discerning and I think Christians are called to be discerning and to trust in God for the wisdom for that discernment I think it's a lot easier for us as Christians to just create rules rules that are kind of extra biblical that are not in the Bible as to what we should or shouldn't do when really the, the harder thing, but I think the thing that we're called to, is to actually trust God for wisdom in all areas of life, and that includes what art that we engage in.